everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we're going to be doing a review on the Viseart Trist, Trist, I don't know how to say it, uh, palette. And you do get this off of Beautylish. This is $49. Um, it was my very first time ordering from Beautylish and I will say that I was quite impressed with the packaging that they sent me. Um, it was very well packaged, very well protected, um, and they just actually take that extra step um, to make everything really, really exciting when you open the box. The only setback that I had was it probably took a little bit longer than what I'm used to when I order online. Let's say Sephora, they can get it to me in two or three days, um, but it seemed to have taken two weeks almost to get this. I would say that was the only downfall. Um, I don't know if that's normal or if that's because I got it when it first came out. So uh, this is the packaging right here. Very beautiful, very sturdy. It has Viseart um, and it has the name of the palette right here. And then you open this up and you'll have to excuse me, it is a little dirty because I have been playing in this palette so much. So these are your colors right here. I think they are absolutely stunning. If I can show you without blinding you, you do get a huge mirror with the palette as well. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do swatches and then I will get into thoughts. I was able to do two different swatches on two other people who have different skin tones than me. One of them was a like a fair skin tone. The other person uh, was kind of a medium skin tone. So you will be able to see swatches on three different skin tones this time. Um, I'm really excited to have that and I I really, really appreciate Carol and her niece helping me out for that situation. So here are your swatches right here. Oh, this palette is so pretty. It's just, it, it's getting me ready for springtime and this palette is definitely more pink um, than when you first look at it. So uh, these are my swatches on my skin tone. I have more of a light, uh, kind of like yellow undertone skin tone. Um, so the image I'm gonna insert here is uh, Carol's swatches and she is the fair skin tone. And the image here is going to be uh, her niece's skin tone, which is more of a medium skin tone. Alright, so like I said, um, this palette is $49 and I know that it's kind of pricey, especially for only nine shades, but the Visi Art formula is amazing. If you have not tried Visi Art, and I know it is a more expensive brand, um, I would definitely start off with something like this, something that is smaller, um, because this palette is going to knock your socks off. It is gorgeous. The shades practically blend themselves and I am in love with this formula. I cannot say enough good things about how good these shadows are. So I actually do have them on my eyes today and I really, really like the way that this look turned out. It's kind of like a pinky purple vibe I got going on and 
I am just ecstatic. <laughs> um, now I did pick up the Vizzy Art Golden Hour. Um, I got this one from Sephora. It is $49 as well. You'll notice there's a tab on here. Um, it does have the shade names. This one did come with it. I just actually took it off so I could um, use the shadows. But um, I love this one just as much. I think that this one is definitely more bold. So if you're looking for something that is more soft, more kind of like an everyday, I would definitely pick this one up here. Now doing a little research, um, Visi Art is manufactured in France. Um, it is cruelty free, it is not vegan, so it does contain carmine. Um, and with that being said, these are actually supposed to contain organic ingredients and, and they are free of silicone, uh, petrochemicals, and um, mineral oil. So um, just a little information for you guys that I was able to obtain um, off their website. So I read up some comments that people were com uh, comparing this to kind of like the Peachy Mats palette or the White Peaches palette. Um, and I will say that they are t actually completely different because these are definitely more pinks than they are peach. Um, and Viseart nailed this out of the park. The Too Faced White Peaches palette, I did not like that palette whatsoever. I took that back. I felt like that was a waste of my money. Um, you know, I do like my Peachy Mats palette, but the White Peaches palette was a total flop for me. Um, and if you want to see why or are curious about the review on that, I will have that link down below. So, uh, Viseart did it right. <laughs> This is everything that the White Peaches palette should have been, but it wasn't. Um, so if you are definitely interested in that type of uh, palette where it is light and springtime and fun and easy to work with and beautiful on the eyes, then this is your palette. Um, so, like I said, I know it's a little pricey, but it is a great way to try Viseart, especially if you are interested in the formula. Um, and I cannot get enough of this eyeshadow palette. There are going to be so many looks that I can create with this. Um, and it's going to be with ease because Lord knows I am not a makeup artist, but with these shadows, you really don't have to be. It just, it helps you create the most beautiful eye look. And I really, really enjoy this palette. So, uh, you can also pick up, I think they have little theory palettes. That's like a six pan, um, I think those are $45, I believe. Um, so for $4 more, you can get the nine pen palette and I highly, highly suggest these. Um, I cannot speak on the little six pans. I have not tried any of those, um, but this is a yes for me. This is a yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. If you are interested in how I created this eye look, please leave a comment down below, and I will definitely get a tutorial up for you guys. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also hit that little notification bell so you can be aware of any future videos that I have. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.